All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some Jets news here. It came out uh, 40, 45 minutes ago here from Tom Pelissero of the NFL Network. It's looking like the Jets are going to be hosting former uh, New England Patriot third round pick back in 2019, offensive tackle Yanni Kajust. Now, what's interesting here is that although Kajust never really was that consistent starter for New England, he has seen some playing time. This isn't just like a bottom of the roster type of move. I think right now when we're looking at this Jets O-line, of course we want as much depth as possible. And it's a little, one move that just, I I was completely scratching my head with uh, happened the other day was when the Jets went out and released Cedric Abwehi out of like, it just seemed like out of nowhere. And then he goes and signs with the Miami Dolphins pretty much instantly after. Because the Jets are in this position, whether we're talking about on the offensive line or looking at the uh, window, right? With with Aaron Rodgers, obviously, it's not the biggest window in the world. It's not like we're looking at like ten year, the next 10 years of Aaron Rodgers' dominance or anything like that. Uh, because of these situations, I would love to bring uh, Kajus onto the squad. I mean, at the end of the day... Again, former third round pick, you can make it. You can make an argument that he still could have the upside. He's appeared in seventeen total games throughout the course of his career. Five games started, three games started last season. Uh, primarily, more more so, right tackle. Uh, but one thing that's super. Uh, well, actually, before I get into that, one point that was uh, made by by Pelissero here. Not only did he just report that the Jets are going to be hosting him. But the Giants are going to be hosting him as well tomorrow. But one thing that always, always, always gets overlooked is the schedule timing. I mean, it's so important to actually get that guy into the building before another team. Uh, I, I mean, we can even look at the we can look at the Odell Beckham situation. Obviously, he goes to the Baltimore Ravens a day before uh, visiting with the New York Jets. Money did play a really big part in that. Um, we can look at the Calais Campbell thing, scheduled to visit with the Jets. I believe uh, the day prior has the 45-minute uh, conversation on the phone with the Falcons owner and, just, and decides to sign a contract there. So get these guys in the building. I'm happy that the Jets visit is coming before the New York Giants here. Um, now, voluntary OTAs begin today. For the New York Jets. Obviously, the first couple phases are in the books, and we, we've all seen Aaron Rodgers throw, and it's all super cool. Um, but this is where phase three begins. This is where things start to ramp up a little bit. Uh, and by the way, I apologize for the AC. It just kicked on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, that's the humming noise. But uh, no, in any case, phase three, you can run seven on sevens. You can run 11 on 11s. Uh, yes, you're not, it's not full contact. Yes, it's not pads and there's, you know, tackling left and right, but you can dive further into the offensive install and defensive install, but defense, I, I feel pretty solid about. I mean, you can really start hammering and running these plays against a design defense. So it's going to be exciting. Um, of course, it's all voluntary. All of these uh, next practices, I believe, will be taking place over the next four weeks until training camp starts up, which is obviously later on in the summer. But of course, phase three, phase four have some stuff to look forward to there uh, from, um, you know, some uh, some non-contact uh, practices and shorts as well. But nevertheless, it's still Jets football. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.